What's up guys, Wallen Customs here, and today we're taking a look at the DC Multiverse Batman Endgame The Joker action figure right here. It looks pretty cool. This is based off the comic book from the Batman comics. This is all part of the Justice Buster wave. A lot of figures coming out, some we have right now. It looks pretty interesting. Let's open them up. Alright guys, so here is the Joker out of the box. Now like I said before, this is based off the comic book version of the Joker. From the Batman comic books. Now I believe the artist is Craig Capullo. Don't quote me there. I believe that's the name. I could be wrong, but it's based off the comic books um, and, and that concept at least. And it's pretty good, you know. The body is pretty much the standard Mattel body you get with the suit and everything. Not bad, but nothing special about it. Uh, for accessories, he does come with the other arm for the build a figure right here, so we'll put to the side. And also, he does come with a mask right there, which is not that bad looking. Pretty decent. Sculpt right there. A little bit of coloring, but not a lot. Take a look at the other side right there. And he's supposed to hold this. This is basically just from the just from the uh, the box cover right here. You know that little picture. It's, it's, it's as if they saw this picture and they were like, "Let's make a Joker just like that." Literally just like that. So the way this works is you have him hold it in one hand. Give me one second that and the other hand you could tell like his other hand his pinky and his thumb are up uh, you could do a little better than that but you could you get the idea right there like that like that like that like that so that's pretty cool I guess if you want to have him pose like that uh, but other than that yeah the figure itself is pretty plain except for the head sculpt all right with that being done let's look at his face sculpt and it's pretty nice I have to admit it's a it's a very specific grin and look to it. Um, it can really depend on your preference if you like it or not. But you can't deny the sculpting. It looks really good though overall. Uh, they did a great job sculpting it. You can see all the details. The teeth look really good as well. You can see inside there. Uh, you see the wrinkles of his smile. Uh, going to the side, you see he, have a sh he has a shaved head on the side there. It's a little bit green stubbles. Uh, so it's not bad. It's pretty good. I have to say it's pro probably one of the more impressive overall designs of a head scope I've seen in a while from Mattel. Um, so you know either you like it or not it's up to you but you have to admit it's a pretty good job it did right there. Uh, but other than that the paint work is pretty de decent you know nothing to complain about really. Green hair, green eyebrows, the teeth look really good actually. Um, nice detail there, the eyes are pretty good as well. You can see that he has bags underneath his eyes that's pretty good too. So overall, the head sculpt is probably the most impressive thing from this figure. And it's pretty clean too, I have to admit. It looks pretty nice. Even the ears, they're really nice. That's pretty good detail in sculpting, honestly. It is pretty nice. Uh, really, very impressive. They didn't really skimp out or half-ass it. Going to articulation right now, ball joint in the head doesn't go up and down at all, pretty much. But it goes left and right, no problems there. Hinge joint shoulders go in and out nicely, up and down, pretty good. Bicep swivel, one point at the elbow. At the wrist, he does have a swivel. Uh, he doesn't. I'm not really sure it's a ball joint in there or something like that, but it does have some kind of give. Not really a hinge joint though, but it does move around a little bit. Uh, he does have an ab joint. I know he does have an ab joint underneath here. It goes back, but doesn't go forward that much at all. Uh, so he does have a waist swivel as well. Uh, T jointed hips underneath the jacket, so it goes up that much. Doesn't go back. It goes back pretty good actually. And uh, in and out, no problems there. Uh, thigh swivel, of course. One point at the knee and at the ankle. He doesn't really have anything, to be honest. I think he's a, he's supposed to have something down there, but you can see right there, like a hinge. But the really, it's pretty hindered right there. Ah, uh, but he does have really shiny shoes. That's pretty good. Let's go that. That. Nice and polished. So, Joker might be hideous up there. But he dresses pretty nice, as you can see. Size comparison, here is the Joker of some of my custom Batman figures right here. I think overall it looks pretty good. And for a last size comparison, here is the Joker of some of the other DC figures I have. And you know, overall, maybe he is a little bit too tall, I don't know. Uh, but I think he's a great looking figure. You know, like I said before, if you're a fan of the comic series, you might like him a lot. Uh, the body itself is pretty plain, but the head scope on him is great. And, you know, that might be a plus for a lot of people. So other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with a wild and customs. 
www.thinkandgrowthpodcast.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace.